Hello everyone, it's Kelly here. And today we are gonna be talking about the topic of fall. Because believe it or not, we have transitioned from summer to fall, or autumn as some people call it. And so as we know, there are four seasons. We have spring, summer, fall, and winter. And so fall is the season, like I said, that's after summer and it is before winter. So at the start of the fall, the Earth's axis um, starts to tilt away from the sun. And so this causes a decrease in the number of daylight hours and warmer weather. So we'll see that the days are gonna start getting shorter and it's gonna start getting cooler. Now an interesting part of the tilting with the sun is that um, with the axis you know, tilting away from the sun, we are starting the fall season, but the southern hemisphere, which is south of the equator, is actually starting spring. So it's crazy to know that, you know, people in countries south of the equator are starting spring while we are starting fall. Now, the first day of fall is known as the autumnal equinox. And so this is because there are 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. You'll remember that in spring, we talked about the vernal equinox. So again, it's that same 12 hours and 12 hours. So one of the things that a lot of people might think about with this autumnal equinox is the harvest moon. And so this is the full moon around the time of fall starting, which signified um, a time when farmers would have just enough light where they could you know, get some more crops before that first frost set in. So it was that full moon right around this time. So when we think of fall, we often think of things like the leaves changing, right? We live in New England, so we live in a beautiful area for seeing the fall season. And so, you know, we see beautiful colors of red, orange, yellow, and um, the colors on the leaves actually change due to the decrease in daylight hours, which I thought was really interesting as I was doing some research. So we also might think of different fall activities that we enjoy. Things like apple picking. You guys will see I got some early apple picking in here. So I got some great apples from going to the apple orchard. When we pick those apples from the orchard, you know, sometimes we might like to bake or cook with them. I know I love to make, you know, apple crisp and apple pie with those apples or even just eat them by themselves. We might also think of fall festivals, right? You know, there's fall festivals that go on all throughout our state in New England. People might think about watching football, right? Because that has started up again. Um, picking pumpkins is always a really fun thing to do hiking, drinking apple cider, you know, these are all great ways for us to be enjoying this fall season. Um, common holidays that are celebrated um, during the fall are things like Halloween, Thanksgiving, the Day of the Covenant, Ascension of Abdullah Baha, and Hanukkah. And so these are some common holidays um, that are celebrated in the fall. Now, when we talked about the topic of summer wear at the start of summer, um, we focused on wearing light, breathable clothing. You know, but when we think about the fall, we want to start wearing some more layers again so that we can stay warm. So, you know, in the beginning of fall, some of the mornings can get kind of chilly, and especially as we move farther into the fall. So it can be helpful to wear a jacket if you are going out for the day. You guys can see I have my you know, leather jacket here, which I often like to wear in the fall. It's not something I can wear in the winter because it's not warm enough. And it's not something for the summer, right? Because it's too warm. So it's a nice lighter fall jacket. You can also wear something like a vest, you know, which is a layer of clothing that will help you not feel too warm if it gets warmer later in the day. Um, wearing sneakers or closed-toed shoes can be important to keep your feet warm. Wearing a long sleeve shirt can also help you feel warm during the day. And wearing long pants is also helpful. Um, common 
you know, fall pants that people might wear or jeans, cargo pants or sweatpants, depending on what people are doing. You wanna, you know, take your breathable light socks and replace them for some thicker ones that'll help your feet to stay warmer. And if it's going to rain, you know, you wanna make sure that you have a rain jacket and an umbrella. And it can be helpful to wear shoes like boots or other water resistant shoes so that they don't get too wet. You know, when I think of fall, I often think of it getting windy, you know, and sometimes rainy. And so that's why having clothing like jackets and things is really helpful. Now, when we think about all of our summer items that we all love to use, right? Things like, you know, shorts, bathing suits, beach gear, t-shirts and sandals. We wanna put all those things away until next summer. So some people store items in a bag while other people use a storage bin. So whichever one you prefer is fine, but I do have to say the storage bins um, help your items to get less wrinkled and can keep them a bit safer. So, um, and they're easy to reuse too. So if you happen to have any storage bins, those can be great for that. But we definitely wanna put our summer items away so that we can enjoy fall. So we have a variety of fall activities for you today that we hope that you enjoy. Even a fall recipe that we're gonna put together today. Um, and so whether you like fall or not, you know, I know for some of us it's hard because, you know, summer is so much fun, it's so warm, and now it's gonna start getting cold. But we can embrace this fall season. I'd encourage all of you to be looking for something in the fall that you enjoy. Whether it's the beauty of the leaves, whether it's you know drinking some apple cider, going apple picking, watching some football, you know there are ways that we can enjoy this season even if it's not our favorite. So I hope that you all get out there and enjoy this beautiful fall season and that you all have a great day.